Hi, my name's Alice. No, I'm Mira and we're from Kingsman S High School and today we're talking to Bianca Walsh from Stillwater Restaurant here in Launceston. So Bianca, what's your role here at Stillwater? I'm one of the co-owners. Uh, I look after the HR, so I do the training and recruitment, uh, development as well as look after functions and I also do the buying and the profit off. What does a typical day look like? That is a hard question to answer because in my industry every day is completely different from another. Uh, in general though it's a lot of obviously looking after the customer, uh, meeting with staff, um, doing some training, working on rosters, um, dealing with emails, uh, complaints, compliments um, and just you know checking in on, on how everyone's going both kitchen, front of house uh, and in the shop. What are some of the opportunities and benefits that people don't realise in hospitality? Uh, there are quite a lot, uh, particularly I guess to do with travel. Um, once you work in the industry, your skills are pliable to really any country almost that you go to. Uh, so being able to um, explore other parts of the world and work, uh, it can also lead you into lots and lots of different fields that people quite, don't quite realise are, are part of hospitality so and that goes across social media, uh, marketing, even graphics, um, uh, training and recruitment uh, and then lots of fields of offshoots so into coffee or wine or um, into beer like working in a brewery or um, there's just so many different things that don't aren't just being a chef and aren't just being a waiter there really are so many different uh, fields to, to look yeah. into. Okay, what experience in education do you have? Uh, I went to public school in the northern suburbs of Launceston, so I went to Brooks High School, uh, then went on to Newstead College, um, and from there I decided I wanted to explore my options and not define myself into a uni degree, so I decided to go to Drysdale. Uh, from there I did my hospitality, Diploma of Hospitality Management, um, and then from that I started to do work experiences through the program and managed to get sort of jobs through that. So really my only hospitality qualification is uh, a Diploma of Hospitality Management. Um, you don't need a whole lot of qualifications, um, but just a, the right attitude really in hospitality. So Bianca, who's suited to something like this? Definitely people who want to be a people pleaser. Uh, someone that enjoys making people happy uh, and enjoys contributing to their experience. Um, so really anyone that, that is interested in food and wine, but particularly people, uh, to be a people person is definitely the number one thing to, to have. For someone getting into hospitality, what pathway sh should they be looking at? Uh, just to get out there and get some experience. So, uh, you know, going to different businesses that you're interested in um, and asking, can I do some work experience or maybe through the programs through schools um, or, or training providers um, and just getting a bit of experience and seeing whether or not you'd like it or enjoy it. Um, and then to follow it from there and to just be patient uh, with the industry. It takes time and a lot of practice to get really good at it and to learn, you know, all the professional bits about it. Um, but yeah, just giving it, persevering with it is, is important. Thanks Bianca for giving an insight on hospitality and hopefully that gives students an idea of what to expect and different pathways they can take.